this is the live auction of Cordon Katsura. I came out at 5.30 a.m. and luckily I got a chance to watch the live auction of Katsura Tuna Court. After getting out tuna from the ship, they cut their tails so that you can see the quality of tuna and then they cut out their guts so that they can sell in the market this is the live market and after they display they sell it to intermediaries the guys with the green hats is the uh, intermediaries and the guys with the blue hat is the uh, workers of this market the wooden stick with a red and blue sign is the uh, tunas which are now selling so intermediaries are calling their price to get their own tunas and after collecting all the calling prices the winner takes it this is the tuna which we're selling the Ura port from ancient time Katsura is a naturally good port and nearly all inhabitants make living by fish industry. Then what port is naturally good port? The port that naturally created by the bay is a good port. It makes ships can easily go in and out and also how do you make high profit from fishery so it's simple catch many fishes and sell with a high price the peak of fishing season is from November to February every year fishing in Katsuura was Pacific Sawari. It began in 1946. A lot of Pacific Sawari cut around Hokkaido and Tokyo area. Pacific Sawari fishing in Katsuura shore is to catch fishes that goes south from Tokyo area. But the fishing ground is now Moving to northern part, so local ship owner changed their fishing method to tuna fishing from Pacific Sawari. So how did the Katsu report become the base of raw tuna fishing port? It begins around 1960. From that area, Refrigeration equipment in tuna ship developed. Also, the number of refrigerator ship increased. And in the same time, fresh tuna is decreased. So, tuna got more value, scarcity value, to become high profit product. So, number of fishing ship all over Japan enter Katsura port targeting to catch fresh tuna. All right, I walked up from the port and I found another shipyard. And here's a tori with a small shrine up there. with a fishing bowl and the fountain 
I guess this is the local shrine. There are many fishing boats. Right, after walking this small village path, it came out this beautiful beach scenery with mountains and trees. There's some ships are over there. Oh, there's a small quarry in the rocky island. This road is so nice on the coast of Katsura. It will be a great running spot. And there's a small road along the side of the coast so you can walk. Or you can walk down to the coast. When water is low, you can walk down to that way. This cliff is so steep. I think this bridge was originally connected to here, but they dismantled it, separated it. Maybe it's because of like big wave or tsunami. Wow. They made this new road, I guess. This is the old road. And this huge, massive, rocky nature. Maybe this road is abandoned. There's a guy. I guess he's fishing. There's stairs to go back or enter this rocky field. It's amazing. This rock is so huge. Makes a mystical landscape and natural environment of this Katsura coast.
can come this place with your car from the town through the tunnel and also you can come here by walk this is the stairs I've been before a really beautiful place with enormous landscape I guess it's saying about the Tori and Shrine and the Rocky Island Water is really clear and I can see the bottom. So this is Katsura shipyard. I guess the ships that needs to be maintenance or the main area is always crowded so this one is a lot less crowded. I guess this is a small fishing boat. I don't know if this boat's owner is an individual seller or contracted with big companies. I guess He's painting his boat again to not rotten to be a good ship to go back to the sea again. There are various kinds of boats in here, like a small boat and there's a motor boat. This one is more larger. And this one is a different one. It's like a ship parking lot and in front of us there are hotels. These hotels can access only by a ship or boat. A little market right next to the fishing market and fishing port. There is an ice cream, cafe and other places that you can eat about the Katsura tuna. There are huge there is a huge tuna statue right in front of uh, this place. And you can eat outside with uh, looking at a seaside. This is the inside view of the market. There are many tuna, fillet tuna. Right, so I'm going to see Nachi Beach. There is a famous beach around the coast in the town named Nachi. And here is the where sea meets river. I came from that area. In the morning I showed you the cliff area. Nachi is also a beautiful town with train station. But Katsura is more famous. Here are some tables to sit and take a look at the sea. In front of here there is a train station so if you wanna access here with a train you can enter 
this area right from the train this is the entrance to the Nachi station pretty not much many visitors but from here you can go to Shingu or you can go backward to to Katsuura or Taiji or any other cities in Wakayama prefecture but yeah this is very peaceful quiet and not much people so if you like more chair down by then and if you are looking for a place in Wakayama then it would be nice to come here and see what's it like on your own eyes it would be great